Hey guys, what's up? So, I was in a trial group last night. Um, thought I'd give a quick overview of mechanics. So we had a lot of problems with the twins. So here you can see the initial pull. Here in a second, they're going to assign colors. The tanks will swap bosses at that point. You can see the candles in the middle of the room. We stay on each side. Everybody's got their colors. See the blue icons and the blue aura overhead? That is the color. There's also an icon on the left. You want to be on the boss with the white head. See the boss's color? That's how you know his color is his aura. There's your icon on the left that is blue. And it's really important that that icon matches the blue icons around you that Odie's will put on there. As well, you can see the blue aura around your head. For some people, for some reason, that's kind of hard to see, but you do have the icon at the left. You do have the icons over everybody if you have OD support icons set up right. So, everything's good. See the blue icons there? They have to match. If not, you're going to explode when you get within a certain proximity of them. So, it's really important that your aura matches the aura of the people around you cannot stress how important that is. It's almost impossible to recover if somebody goes down during color change phase because it's random who gets what color then because of the death and you'll get a really big imbalance and when you get to execute. So you can see right here, wifey's color on her head. Watch what happens. Here's a convergence, uh, not a convergence coming up or a swap. See her feet turned yellow and look, see the dude on the blue to the right right there? Very fortunate. If he took another step or two, he would have killed both of them. So we're coming into prayer phase here. The boss goes up in there, jumps down. You're looking at your aura, you're looking at the color on the boss's head, and you're looking at the aura to the left. They all match color, so this is a full swap. The tank will call this out for you. Now moving on to the next one. See the aura over her head, the yellow under her feet. It changed in the left-hand side of the screen. She swapped. But watch right here. Somebody didn't swap, killed themselves, and the tank. So we'll give a couple more instances of that. Here we wipe it up and um, we'll be moving on. So here's another prayer phase. So you're white. The boss comes out. He turns white. So this is going to be a stay. Your tanks will call this out for you. So what we do is we cross. He's dark. Or, yeah. So we cross taunt and we get the light boss over there. Because during the prayer phase, they swap colors and you have to watch what comes out and then you have to do so much damage. So if he's the same color as you, you can't do as much damage, right? So if you don't get the damage done, you all explode. So that's why you swap sides. The tanks or the healer or somebody will call that out for you. The really important part is just making sure you get your swaps down. See, she's got a color swap, her head turned white. You can see all the blues in the wrong place. Somebody sticks to blow somebody up here. It is inevitable. If you cannot get the color swaps down, then you're gonna be here all day. It takes, this is one of the, arguably one of the hardest mechanics in the game still, because it takes all 12 people nailing this mechanic to get through it. One death and it's almost impossible to recover from. So hope this helps you out, study it a little bit. If you have any questions, ask. Um, I'm always available to answer. Y'all have a good day.